everyone, we're going to classify the angle pair as corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior, or consecutive interior angles. And I'm going to uh, go over some definitions of these. There's four. We're also going to talk about supplementary, supplementary angles. And um, there's a proof. So uh, we're also going to solve for X and Y. So let's get started. The first one we're going to go over is corresponding angles. So the kind we have aren't uh, parallel, the problem we have. But um, basically, when you have a transversal that intersects two lines, the corners here like A and B are called corresponding angles. So in this case, A and B, I mean A and E are corresponding angles. B and F, C and G, and D and H. Those are corresponding angles. Now if the intersect parallel lines, then corresponding angles are congruent. But in this case, our lines aren't parallel, or they don't look like they are. So ours would be um, uh, corresponding angles 1 and 9, 5 and 13. Then we have um, 3 and 11, and 7 and 15. And we have 4 and 12 and 8 and what is this number let's see I don't know what this number is 12 16 so this would be 16 here so that's that's what a corresponding angle is I remember it by corresponding uh, corner they both uh, start with C-O-R all right Alternate interior angles are the ones you're probably more, most used to. So they're on the interior and they alternate and they're on the interior. So uh, these are corresponding angles and we could also have these two. So looking at this, we have 4 and 10, 8 and 14. And then we also have um, 3 and 9 and 7 and 13. They're all um, alternate interior angles. And they are congruent or equal to each other. Okay. Alternate exterior angles are kind of the same thing, but on the outside. So on the exterior. So... Um, the blues are alternate exterior angles, and then the red would be. And they are also congruent. So in our case, are 2 and 12, 6 and 16 are alternate exteriors, and so is 1 and 11 and 5 and 15. Okay. And then we're talking about consecutive interior angles. All right. So basically on ours, um, what they are, they consecutive. It is just like it says, consecutive interior. So we have 3 and 5 and 4 and 6. So in our case, we have four, their interior, and nine, eight, and thirteen, and we also have three, and ten, and seven, and fourteen. Uh, th the main thing about these, they aren't congruent, but the angles formed are supplementary. Okay, now I have some examples. So, in this case, if we solve for x, um, these are alternate interior angles. That means they're congruent. 
so you can make them equal each other. Uh, this is x plus 15. I subtract 15, so you're going to get 65. Uh, subtract 15, so you get 65 equals x. So to make these congruent, this x would have to be um, 65, because 65 plus 15 equals 80, because they're congruent, alternate interior angles. All right. Now, this problem, these are called uh, corresponding interior angles. So that means they're supplementary. So if angle 1 is 7x plus 24, and uh, our other angle is 72, since they're supplementary, that should equal 180. All right, so we add this up, 7x plus 96 equals 180. Subtract uh, 96 from both sides. And let's see what we get, 180 minus 96. Uh, gives you 84, and um, whoops, so you have 7x here, so that's 0, so 7x equals 84, and you divide by 7, and you get x is 12, so you put 12 here, all right, and there's a little car problem here. So, um, the dividing parking spaces are parallel, and the measure of our first angle 1 is 115 degrees. So, um, since these are parallel, this is supplementary. So, angle 3 would just be 180 minus 115 degrees. And that would be 65 degrees. And then we have to find the measure of angle 8. And you can keep going, but measure 8, uh, angle 8 will also be 65 degrees. Because these are alternate, um, so like alternate exterior angles. Or you can keep adding um, these up and keep going di diagonally and get the 65 degrees. All right, and uh, we have a little proof here. It said if N is line N is parallel to line P, then we have to prove that angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. So uh, on the proof, it says... Uh, N is parallel to P, that's a given. So you just write given for your proof. Number two, angle one is congruent to angle three. That is from your uh, alternate interior angle theorem. Number three, Angle 3 and 2 are supplementary, supplementary, sorry, and that's just from your um, supplementary angle theorem. And number 4, uh, 2 and 1 are supplementary, and that's from your consecutive consecutive interior angle theorem. Uh, THM is short for theorem. All right, and this one we have to solve for, uh, this is the last thing, solve for X and Y. So basically, let's look at this. Um, if I use my
if I use my corresponding angle theorem, these are corresponding angles because they're on the same corner, that means they're congruent. So we write 2x plus 2 equals, that means they equal, congruent means equal, so that means they equal. Subtract x from both sides. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides. And you get x equals 54. So we solve for x. And if x is 54, then I plug in uh, 54 for this. So 54 plus 56 equals 110 degrees. So this angle here is 110 degrees. These two angles are supplementary, so we're going to um, add them up. 110 um, plus 7, wait, 110 plus, let me put the y first, y plus 7 equals 180. Now, so we get y equals 180 minus, this is 117, so y equals um, 63. Okay, so we have x is 54 and y is 63, and not degrees, it's just 63. And if you look at this and plug the 63 back in, you get 63 plus 7 equals 70. So if this is 70, we know 70 plus 110 equals 180 degrees. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.